absolutely fascinating. Imagine a, a seemingly ordinary 1995 Lincoln cent, just like the ones jingling in your pocket, selling for a jaw-dropping $1,740 on May 13th, 2024. What makes this scent so special? It boasts a rare mint error known as the double die obverse, a phenomenon where the design is doubled during the minting process. The doubling on this coin is so pronounced that it can be easily seen with the naked eye. Variety Vista notes that this, this 1995 double die scent exhibits strong doubling on key areas like liberty, in God we trust, the hair at the top of the head, and even the eyelid. This scent is not just about the mint error. It also showcases an exceptional strike and preservation, earning it a coveted MS69 grade, just one step away from numismatic perfection. If you happen to have similar pristine scents with exceptional eye appeal, it's highly recommended to store them in airtight holders or slabs. This helps protect them from gradual loss of mint luster, ensuring that their beauty and value remain intact for years to come. Did you know that in 1965, the U.S. Mint made a significant change to the composition of the Roosevelt dime? According to PCGS CoinFax, this was the year when the Mint removed all silver from the dime, opting instead for a much cheaper alloy. This decision was driven by the increasing price of silver. As a result, 1965 saw the first ever clad Roosevelt dimes being struck. Interestingly, these clad dimes were struck in a similar quality to their silver counterparts from the 1960s. This means that while examples in MS66 condition are readily available, they are still considered scarce. When it comes to MS67 condition and higher, uh, both silver and clad circulation strike dimes from the 1960s become really scarce. Recently, an attractively toned 1965 Roosevelt dime graded as Mint State 67 with full bands by PCGS sold for an impressive $480. This goes to show the value and interest in these transitional pieces that mark a significant moment in U.S. coinage history. Check out this 1950 Washington Quarter. Have you noticed the doubled beak on the eagle? If you spot this on your 1950 quarter, you could be looking at a valuable find. According to Variety Vista, this variety, known as the doubled die reverse, features a doubled beak towards the east on the left leaves, arrows, and the eagle's right wing. 1950 was a significant year of economic recession, but mintages began to recover towards its end. Despite this, the number of quarter dollars coined at the Philadelphia Mint was enough to make this issue common in circulation for over 15 years, until it was withdrawn along with all other silver pieces. Gem examples of this coin, up to MS67 grade, are plentiful. Recently, a DDR quarter in MS67 grade fetched an impressive $504 at Heritage Auctions, highlighting the value and interest surrounding this unique variety. The suspension of mint marks on coins dated 1965 to 67 aimed to deter speculators who were incorrectly blamed for a nationwide coin shortage around that time. Despite various mints producing most denominations during those years, circulating half dollars dated 1965, 1966, and 1967 were exclusively minted at the Denver Mint. The majority of 1965 dated halves were struck in the first seven months of 1966, but didn't enter circulation until March of that year. Most Kennedy half dollars dated before 1971 were hoarded, but the silver-clad issues of 1965 to 69 circulated enough to be readily available in lightly worn condition. However, 1965 halves, while common in unworn condition, are rarely found in higher grades. Even at the MS66 level, the supply of certified coins falls short of the demand from advanced collectors. Varieties for this date are few and mostly minor. A vividly toned 1965 half dollar, once part of the Stephenville collection, was graded as MS67 by PCGS and sold for $2,880 on May 13, 2024, at Heritage Auctions. The 1970S double die Lincoln Cent holds a special place as the third scarcest major double die in the entire Lincoln Cent series, just behind the 1958 and 1969S double dies. This elusive variety is known as large date over small date, with the designation FS102. According to Variety Vista, it exhibits strong extra thickness on the date, 
liberty, and in God we trust. A stunning example of this variety was recently graded as PR67 Red Cameo by PCGS. This exceptional coin sold for an impressive $1,680 on May 13th, 2024. The demand and value of these major double die varieties continue to captivate collectors, making them highly sought after and prized additions to any collection. It's truly remarkable how a mintage of 46 million cents can result in so few gems. But that's the story of the 1920s Lincoln cent. Despite the large mintage, the vast majority of mint state survivors are poorly struck, showing signs of overused dyes and often lacking the vibrant red color associated with P-Mint Lincolns. Those that are certified as MSRD typically exhibit a more subdued shade of red. The specimen illustrated here, despite having a moderately worn reverse dye, is considered one of the nicest examples. This issue was hoarded widely from the mid-1930s onward, with the last examples being found in the early 1960s. As a result, 1920s cents are quite common in grades of fine and lower. Dye erosion was a known issue with the 1920s cents, but this impressive gem shows a better than average strike, with just a touch of softness on the beard and lower curls. The lustrous copper and steel brown surfaces are lightly marked, with only a few small scratches on the portrait. Graded as Mint State's 65 Brown, this scent sold for an impressive $1,620 on May 8, 2024, highlighting the scarcity and value of high-grade examples of this coin. In conclusion, the world of rare U.S. coins is a fascinating one, filled with stories of discovery, rarity, and the potential for big financial gains. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, these coins offer a unique opportunity to own a piece of history while potentially making a significant profit. From the elusive 1970s double die Lincoln cent to the 1920s Lincoln cent, each coin has its own story to tell and its own value to offer. It's incredible to think that a simple pocket change could turn into a valuable asset worth hundreds or even thousands of dollars. If you've enjoyed learning about these rare coins and want to see more, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends who might be interested, and leave a comment below with your thoughts or any questions you may have. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more numismatic content and the latest updates on rare U.S. coins that can possibly make you big money. Thank you for watching, and until next time, happy collecting.